Happy New Year's, everybody. So, 10 fragrances in my collection that are inexpensive bangers. These are all fragrances that you can find when you find them. I'm gonna say the majority of them are under 20 bucks. There may be one or two that exceed that price range, but I seriously doubt it. You wanna know what these fragrances are? Meet me on the other side of this intro and I'll tell you all about them. See you in just a second. going on everybody you guessed it you guessed it i don't know how y'all knew i don't know how y'all knew it was me it is your boy trey sense listen i've got a little bit of a video a little bit of a discussion you know how we do it here on the channel what are we going to talk about inexpensive fragrances all of these fragrances um with the exception i think of one can be found at your local rag stores always picked up at your local rag stores all of them very inexpensive um, and to me they all smell good especially if you're that type of guy who likes to smell good on a budget now if you like if you're into niche fragrances or thicker heavier higher quality fragrances maybe this isn't the video for you but even um, nonetheless before we start this video you already know got a little favor to ask for you just a few little things like this video share this video and sub to this channel all of those things help me as a youtube reviewer grow it helps youtube decide what to do with this beautiful brown face and my content so if you don't mind like share and sub now that we got the business out of the way y'all ready to talk about some fragrances because i know that's what you're here for okay to the one fragrance that i don't think you can find in a rack store, or at least I've never seen it. I'm sure somebody's picked it up at a rack store. I, in my years of frag hunting, have never come across it. And it's from the house of Giacomo, and it is Aurora. Say that three times fast. Very unique smelling fragrance. Um, not a fan of this plastic around the bottle not sure why they did that the green bottle would have been just fine i think they were just trying to be different and i understand that decent atomizer as you see and this room is very thick all of a sudden um this is just a different scent it's just different I mean, that's the best way to describe it. It's not the best smelling fragrance that I've smelled. It's not the worst smelling fragrance I've smelled. It's different. So this is one you can't go 15 sprays of. This is one that you may need to keep your sprays to five or six on. Um, it's got a nice, clean, masculine, woody, very, very masculine um, type of scent profile. It's not a... Freshy, it's not a, 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 a green or fougere or blue type of scent. Um, the bottle color probably is a little bit deceiving because it would make you think of something bright and vibrant. It's not. It's not that at all. What it is, is it's a very laid back, um, very easy to wear fragrance if you don't spray 50 sprays of it. Um, I like it. The best way to describe it is it's just different. Now, here's the best thing about this fragrance. I picked this up uh, from Julie, and she said she paid $6 for it. I think now it's going for about 11 That is Aurora from Giacomo. And it's still a really, yeah. You know, I always gotta make sure I got the name right because I can't see. Still trying to get my eyes situated. But nonetheless, that is a really good fragrance. Your best bet to try to find that one is online. Clayton, if you see this, that's one you need to look up, brother. It's potent and it's cheap. $12, $12. That's your price range. Can't beat the $12 price range. Okay? Okay. Moving along. This next one is a flanker from a house that I like. 
um, one of my favorite fragrances. The house is a Zorro. The line is Chrome, and this one is Chrome United. Now, I'm not saying it's a it's a clone. To me, to me, in the dry down or in the mid to the dry down of this fragrance is where it gets beautiful. In the top, I pick up on, I want to say juniper berries. I could be totally wrong, but I pick up on something that's very, uh, very masculine, very woody. It's almost like it wants to go green. It doesn't have the metallicness that the original chrome has, but you definitely pick up on some of the chrome DNA. I like the bottle design of this one. I like that color juice, I think it's pretty. Uh, this fragrance can be had under $20 at TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Burlington, Burks, anywhere you see it. The dry down of this fragrance to me is where the magic happens. This reminds me of a very expensive fragrance in the dry down. And I keep stressing dry down because you have to go through the opening are the top notes and then the mid notes. But that dry down is where this fragrance reminds me of Perfume de Marley's Percival. It could just be me. I've never heard anybody else say that, but that's what I get from the dry down. My Denzel voice, stay off of the rover. From the dry down, that's what I get. Top notes, not so much. The top, it opens up very similar to Chrome without the metallicness. And then as it moves through its progressions, I'm telling you, the dry down is where this one does what it does. Absolutely love this fragrance. Nice bottle design too. For some reason, call me corny, but I love that blue stem in there with that blue juice. To me, it's just nice. From the house of Azaro, it is Chrome United. If you get that, this fragrance, don't get it and think, Trey said this smells like Percival and then spray it and smell it and go, that doesn't smell like Percival. You're right, let it move, let it dry down. And when you get to the dry down, then is where the magic starts, okay? And that fragrance can be had for around 20 bucks, we'll say. All right, moving along. This next one is one that I picked up about mid-year and I love it. I absolutely love this fragrance and it's from the house of Usher and it is home. Love this fragrance right here. Very sexy, very sophisticated. Oh man, that just smells good to me. Mm. Never get tired of this scent. Definitely a cooler weather type of fragrance. Definitely a date night type fragrance. Nice little bottle design. Very simple, simplistic. A little cheap cap, but hey, that's fine. You're not paying for the cap. As a matter of fact, you're not paying for much with this fragrance at all because I picked this fragrance up for around the $13, $14 mark for a 50 mil at Ross. I, I see it occasionally. It's not one that I see in like abundance like you do the Nauticas. Um, but nonetheless, if you can't find it in a rack store, you can get it all offline and it is just an inexpensive fragrance that smells really good. Slightly gourmandy, again, very sexy, romantic, but at the same time, masculine type of scent. I like it. Usher Home, and that is a cheapy. This next one on the list was very popular at one point and it's from the house of Salvatore. Um, and then all of a sudden it just became not popular from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo it is F black and in my opinion this is still a very nice wearable fragrance I like it great itemizer very strong very peppery I was picking this fragrance up at Burke's Outlet. Burke's Outlet, extremely cheap. Um, I got this one, this 100 mil, around this time last year, it was the first of the year, at the Marshalls that you hear me talk about in Corinth, Mississippi. I had went down there one day and probably spent about 
hundred and something dollars on fragrances, but I got about seven fragrances. I can't remember what all I picked up, but I know this was one of them. It seems like I picked up um, Bagari, maybe Wood Essence. I picked up several fragrances. This was one of them, and this one was marked down to like $18 in a gift set. I know another one I picked up. I picked up um, Aqua Essenziale Blue, I think, for Jakari, because he didn't have that in his collection. I came up on it there for like, I mean, they had several gift sets for $17 or $18, um, and I, I just picked them up. I ended up spending about $100, a little over $100, maybe $120, but this was one of the ones I picked up, and this is a great fragrance to wear uh, this time of the year. It reminds me of something from Chanel. I'm not exactly sure which one it reminds me of from Chanel, but it just has this something about it that I like. It is definitely a very strong fragrance. Dare I use the word synthetic, which I don't like to use about a fragrance because I mean, they're all synthetic because they're all scented water. It's all juice in a bottle. So, I mean, they're all synthetic. Yes, some use more natural uh, ingredients, which gives it a totally different smell, deeper, darker, richer. I get that. But this one just has something about it. I, as I was saying, I was picking these up dirt cheap. I mean, the first one that I got was like a 30 mil and I may have paid $13 for it at Burke's Outlet. And then I started seeing them for as low as five and $6 and I was picking them up every time I would see one. Um, and I gave a lot of them away. My back is itching for Christmas gifts. I know my boy Marvell, when he graduated college, I hit him off with a bottle of it. Um, you know, I love to give fragrances, so. And um, he loved it. He was like, man, that smells good. Nice, fresh, clean. And it does. It, you know, to me, this is one when you first spray it, it may be a little bit harsh. But if you let it dry down again and start to work through the progress and die down a little bit, it's a good smelling fragrance. And this 100 mils for $18, you can't beat that. Can't beat it with a bat. I absolutely love the house of uh, Salvatore. I think it's a good little house and they tried to be stylish with the bottle design with the little belt i mean you know this is this decent little bottle nice solid cap it's plastic but it is solid again salvatore ferragamo f black this one was making the rounds several years ago and it was all the rave and people couldn't get enough of it and then all of a sudden it just died out but that doesn't mean that the fragrance doesn't still smell good because it does so if you see that one in your rag store i know burlington used to have it um, on a regular basis. If not, maybe try to find that on, online. That's one that I guarantee you if they discontinue it, people are going to be clamoring to get it and the price is going to shoot up, which is just uh, a travesty. I hate to see that happen, but nonetheless, it is a good smelling fragrance and I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, this next one, put the old lid down so I can pronounce this. Okay, we're gonna go with Victory, and then you can barely see the writing there, Intense. This is one of those um, fragrances that I picked up at Marshall's in, in Madison, Alabama. No box, no nothing. Now this is made by Lumani. And this is a clone of Invictus, and a very good one for $12. I've seen some say it smells very, very similar to the 2016 batch, the frosted bottle. I don't know if it does or not, but I'll tell you what it does. It smells good. It's a compliment getter. Um, I had to work tonight, got off work late because <laughs> I guess everything else had closed early being New Year's Eve. Um, had one customer that was probably the most difficult customer that I've had since I've been back working in retail. Uh, and it was like 11.15 before they even got to the cash register and we closed at 11. And then they had to pay three or four different ways, some on this card, some on that card, some cash. Crazy. So my point was, I got off work a little late, went to the gas station right around the corner from where I work. Um, and the guys in there were like, what kind of cologne is that you're wearing? You smell good. 
and I was trying to explain to him what it was. He was like, whatever it is, it's strong and it smells good. So this one is an attention grabber and a compliment getter. Now the only problem with it is I don't, I've only seen it in the rack stores once and I bought it that one time. Now I know they have um, one that's in the white bottle as well. Wow, seemed like Cheapo had that one. It, I think it's more of a freshie, but $12.99 was my point. And this is an amazing scent, but it's a Lamani fragrance and Lamani is a very reputable house. So my suggestion to you is if you're looking for an Invictus Aqua 2016 type of fragrance or just an Invictus, not an Invictus Aqua, an Invictus type of scent, give this bad boy a try. I'm gonna see if it'll zoom in. And it is Victory Intense by Lumani. Check it out again. So in case I mispronounced it, if you go to look it up online, you'll know what it is. Be sure you get the intense. Okay, got it, get it, got it, good. But again, I love this fragrance and I'm telling you, they was like, man, that's hidden, that's hidden. You know how guys talk, but anyway, nice little smelling fragrance and that was $12. And I, again, I picked it up at TJ Maxx, not TJ Maxx, Marshalls. You can even still see where the sticker was on the bottle. See that little goo gunk right there? Nice little fragrance, one I need to put my hands on more. I need to get these old paws on it more. This next one is from the house of Paris Hilton. And it looks like a hotel. See, hang on. This is like a hotel building, no, like hotel buildings out there in Dallas, Texas. And it is Gold Rush, as I'm trying to find it out of so I don't spray myself in my already struggling eyes. There we go. And this one. I want to say 1 million. It gives off some 1 million type of vibes. This may be one of the more expensive fragrances on the list at, uh, in between 20 to $25. But, um, and I've seen it in the rack stores a few times. I've seen it definitely at Burlington. Again, this is one I picked up from Miss Julie. Um, as she was doing a fragrance sale and I bought everything that I did not have. Some of it I wanted, some of it I was curious about, but I just bought them. Um, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I absolutely love it. As bad as I hate to say it, because I'm just not a Paris Hilton type of dude. Um, just Me by Paris Hilton is a better clone of Aqua de Jo than Perry Ellis 360 Red. It's more close to Aqua de Jo and without the spices, and it performs better than Aqua de Joe, and it's cheap. It's like $17. I probably could have put it on this, on this list as well, but it's made several of my lists, so going with something that you can wear now, which Aqua de Joe you can wear anytime you want to because it's got that classic um, type of smell. And by classic, I mean aquatic, but it, you know, like CK1, it's just, it's timeless. Aqua de was timeless. But anyway, this one has that spicy, uh, more of a fall, wintery type of vibe. I think it's that, I think that's one million that this one is reaching at. I'm not saying it's a clone of it, but it's it's getting there. See the one million, uh, maybe it's Spice Bomb. It's one of the two, it's one of those sweet, spicy fragrances. Nonetheless, the point is for 20 to $25, you can get this hotel building, Magic Wand, pop, Men in Black Stick, pop, whatever you need. Hold on, I ain't gonna remember the video. Let me unbox, unbox, pop, pop. But nonetheless, it is a great smelling fragrance and I like it. And this is one I think you should add to your collection. It's a nice looking bottle. It actually looks good in the repertoire. This one is probably the cheapest fragrance on this list and it is from the house of Playboy and it is Playboy's London. I'm trying to see if y'all can see that sticker price on it right there. Burke's Outlet Clearance Specials. Now, this to me has a Sauvage vibe, but it's not as bright. I think Sauvage has some citrus in the top, um, but nonetheless, this is a great little fragrance on its own, especially if you're starting a collection or if you're just one of those guys, like again, my boy Clayton. Clayton. Playboy London is one you need to get your hands on. And this is the second 
formulation or second bottle of it. The first ones had like the cities on them before they went to just this plain Playboy style bottle. But nonetheless, as far as I can tell, the juice is still pretty good. Um, or the juice is really the same. And this is just a compliment getter. It just is. It's a compliment getter. It's one that women, for some reason, seem to like. Not really sure why, but it just has that vibe. Every time I wear this, I get a compliment. This is my second bottle of it. I may have given the other bottle. What, you know, this may be my third bottle because I kept running into them so cheap. And by cheap, I mean $5.99. And that was in the box. So when you catch them on clearance, let me see what this price is. 4 dollars $4.49? For a 100 ml bottle of anything that lasts more than two hours? And this is a straight banger. Any age can wear this. Smells good. Um, definitely one I would wear more either in the night time or in the fall and winter. Can't really see this being worn on a summer's day. If you do, you better go one spray to the chest because that sucker is going to get away. Summertime night? Yeah, I can see that. I can see that more. But I would save it for the spring, uh, winter or fall is when I would reach for this. When the temperatures are 60 at the highest, 65 maybe. And then I think you may have yourself something here. Playboy London. Nice little fragrance. Nice little fragrance. A gem of a fragrance. Okay. This next one, I'm not sure of the price on it. Um, I, I want to say it's around $24 to $25. I got it for $9.99 in a gift set. Again, about this time last year, I had went frag hunting and went to the Burks in Corinth, Mississippi, where I find everything like the Bentleys, the Gucci's, uh, what else I found, I, I found, um, they had both Azaro's Wanted and Wanted by Night, which I already had both of those, but I found my Gucci Guilty Absolute and my Givenchy Gentleman, EDT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I found my Dunhill Icon Elite for $12. Well, the same day I found the Dunhill Elite for $12, I found this for nine. Both were in the gift set. And I like everything about this fragrance. I really do. Look at that bottle design. I mean, that is a beautiful bottle. Solid. If you had this in your hand, very solid. Solid cap. Everything about this fragrance is nice. Now to what you want to know about the scent. Mm. Clean, fresh. You're not gonna believe this, but to me, it smells of very high quality. Dare I say niche? Um, if not niche, at least middle to high end designer for a celebrity fragrance. And it's Christian Ronaldo's legacy, if I did not say that. I was blown away and every time I smell it, I'm blown away. I'm, I'm, the question that I have is how can a company make this fragrance for the price that they make it in and we're paying arms and legs for fragrances. This one is nice. It's just got this something about it. It is masculine, but at the same time it comes across as clean. It's dressy, but it's not overly dressy. It is just, it's just right. I'm not saying it's the perfect 10 fragrance, but I'm saying it's just Right. This is one that I could see you wearing in the spring and summer with a t-shirt and some shorts. Or I could see you wearing it in the winter with a nice hoodie. It's just going to rock out no matter what you what you wear with Christian Ronaldo's legacy. And this is one that would look great on display in your collection. I like it. Christian Ronaldo's legacy. All right, y'all. I got two more. Really three more, but two more. This next one is said to be a clone of Millicene Imperial. I can't remember what Millicene smells like because it seems like I gave my samples to Miss Julie. Oh man, this smells good. Nonetheless, when this fragrance first came out, it was expensive as everything Ed Hardy was expensive. And this is a great little fragrance, very tropical, very coconutty. Definitely one I would wear to the beach. Definitely one good for the high heat. So it wouldn't do as much I say it wouldn't do as much good. No, it was 70 degrees and muggy here in Alabama today 
on the last day of, of 21 and on the first day of 22, it's gonna be hot, like 75 degrees. So definitely one I can see somebody reaching for in that type of temperature, especially when the wind is blowing. This is one of those fragrances that coming off of your skin, when the wind catches it and you catch a breeze, man, it's just nice. It's just nice. I love it. Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. That's a good one because I don't think I said the name. And that one can be had for anywhere from $13 to $24, depending on what size bottle you buy and whether you get it in a gift set. Seems like that one was about $17 or $18. A lot of times it's in the bargain bin, one of those clearance uh, section fragrances. So keep your eye out on it. And if you're looking for something, whether it smells like Millicene or not, it's definitely a good smelling fragrance on its own and definitely worth purchasing. If you have Sean John, uh, you may not want that one. What is it, Unforgettable? If you have that one, you may not want that one. But if you don't, dig it, get it. This next one, I'm gonna do two and one because they're from the same house. And we have Windsor and Cambridge Knights. Now, if you notice real quick off the top, this one you can see through, this one you cannot. This one is much, much stronger and lasts longer. This one is okay, but the longevity on it is suspect. Just what it is. And you can definitely see through this one. This one I purchased in Hoover, Alabama at a TJ Maxx and it came with a box. I was down there to watch a high school football game. Came in the box. This one I purchased in Madison last birthday when I got out and did some birthday shopping. Um, picked this up for $12.99. I was glad to have it in my collection. Great smelling fragrance. Very similar to, again, it's an uh, Invictus clone. So if you don't want anything like that then stay away from this it is cambridge nights um, nonetheless it is a good smelling fragrance not the best of performers but still it smells good now this one on the other hand this one is again to me it's one of those spice bomb type of scents as it's sweet spicy yeah spice bomb or spice bomb extreme it's along those lines and it's Windsor, sweet, spicy, and this one is super strong, super masculine, super potent. Um, but they're both inexpensive. I think this one was about $12, and this one was a little bit more. It was like 19 But I think the ones that come in the box that you can't see through may be EDPs. So something to keep in mind when you're looking and when you're ordering. Because I know uh, London comes in an EDT and an EDP and it doesn't say on the bottle. You have to look on the box. So if it comes in the box, there's a good chance it's an EDP. And it does perform a little bit better. London is a clone of Aventus. But anyway, guys, man, thank you. We're gonna start this new year off right. We are inching closer every day to 2,000 subs. And when we get there, I may just have to do a giveaway. I may just have to do a giveaway. We're gonna figure out something when we get to 2000, because I mean, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Come a long way on this channel, man. I appreciate all of you. I really do. I've thoroughly enjoyed this. I got regulars that come in my store, like Mr. Lester, always, you know, wanting to talk fragrances and I'm always busy because it seems like when I come in, the other cashiers disappear because they know Trey gonna take care of it. So they seem to part like the Red Sea and leave me, st <laughs> leave me stuck on the register, but uh, Mr. Lester, if you see this video, bro, I appreciate you. Uh, you're going to have to come down to the crib sometime and smell some of these fragrances that I got scattered out throughout. Uh, sitting, you know, just, just chop it up with you real good. Um, but with that being said, man, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to edit this video, do a thumbnail, upload this video and get it out for you guys to see. As always, man, you know, I appreciate y'all for returning to the scene of the crime. And as always, thank you for being the best part of this channel. I love you all and God bless you all. Until next time, peace.